so the rules of debit and credit are very simple see here what we have over here is this word right dealer so now I have drawn this here this dotted line why because this is one group and this is another group okay we have two groups over here and this group group of drawings expenses and asset DEA this has debit balance okay this has debit balance and liability equity and revenue they have credit balance fine now don't ask me why okay because there is no logical explanation for that it's just s from the beginning okay it's just a rule fine so these people have debit balance and these people have credit balance so to increase drawings expenses or asset yeah what you have to do you have to debit them yeah to decrease them you have to do opposite you have to credit yeah and it is opposite here they have credit balance so to increase these guys you have to credit them and to decrease them you have to do opposite you have to debit them yeah that's what the trick is it's very simple see modern rules of debit and credit drawings have debit balance expense have debit balance asset have debit balance yeah so to increase them what you're going to do to increase them you are going to debit them yeah debit 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 yes and to decrease them opposite of that yeah for example you have purchased the asset so asset is increasing yeah so immediately to increase the asset account what you're going to do you are going to debit that if you have sold the asset asset is decreasing so you need to credit that asset account whatever asset you have sold yeah that's how you have to debit and credit now you will be you know getting the idea that what does debit and credit means debit and credit doesn't have any meaning you know they don't have any meaning these are the two abstract terms we use in accounting to reflect the duality concept you know here we have double entry concept I told you right we record every transaction with a debit and a credit and both the effects of a transaction debit and credit are always equal okay then here we liability equity and revenue these people have credit balance so to increase them we credit them and to decrease we do opposite debit 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 yeah for example if you took a loan from the bank then your liability is increasing so to increase the liability what you're going to do you are going to credit the bank loan account so the main thing is you know the classification whatever item you have furniture what is furniture furniture is something you own and future economic benefit is there that's an asset so these rules will apply yeah bank loan what is bank loan bank loan means what you have to pay right so that's a liability so these rule apply yeah you need to know the classification properly you should be able to classify everything into these six items yeah whatever it is furniture car account yeah computers account whatever it is land and building account now where does land and building comes asset because you can use the land and building there is a future economic benefit yeah you own it or you have it on lease basis whatever it is yeah you have control you have future economic benefit then that's asset so this rule will apply isn't it yes so this is what we have these six things only okay you should be able to categorize whatever you have into these six items only yeah if I tell you electricity then where does electricity comes here in expenses yeah whenever you have to pay the electricity bill the expense is increasing you have to debit that yeah simple yes and if there has been an error in recording the expense and you want to reverse that error then what you will do to decrease the expense you will credit that yeah mostly the expenses they never decrease but sometimes some error will happen in recording so to reverse the effect you have to credit that so this is the rule simple rule yeah whichever things has debit balance to increase them you have to debit and to decrease opposite do opposite credit that yeah so debit and credit doesn't mean anything yeah it doesn't mean that debit is good that credit is bad something like that or plus minus no you know it depends upon the balances the these elements have if they have debit balance to increase you have to debit to decrease you have to credit if they have credit balance to increase you have to credit to decrease you have to debit